Hello and welcome. Today we will be looking at band gap of germanium. The band gap of germanium. Now, this is our power supply. This is our Hall effect module, right? Hall effect module. Now, for the components are multimeter, digital multimeter. For the connection, we connect one cable to the 12 volt. One cable to the 12 volt of the power supply. Then we connect the other cable to the zero volt of the power supply. Now we come to the whole effect model. We check the back, right? The back. We connect the 12 volt, the 12 volt cable, the 12 volt cable from the power supply to the 12 volt behind the model. We do the zero here to the zero here, right? So the next thing we do, the next thing we do is to connect the multimeter, right? Connect the multimeter. Now, the positive side, this one goes to the voltage, to the voltage of this. And then this side goes to the common, goes to the common. Now we can switch this on. We can switch the multimeter on and then put it on 20 volts, right? Now, coming back to the model, back to the model, we have to set the current at 5 volts, right? So we use this to change the knob as to whether we want the current, current or temperature. See, so when you press this, when you press, it goes to temperature. When you press, it goes to temperature. When you press, it comes to current. Now, we are using 5 milliamp, right? And then the unit here is already milliamp on the current. So on the current, we use this to adjust, right, to 5. We adjust this to 5 milliamp, right? We adjust this to 5 milliamp. OK, that's 5 milliamp. That's 5 milliamp. Then the next thing is to heat up the germanium. So this is the germanium. This is the germanium element. We can remove this, right? And then we have others that we can replace it with. But this is the plate that we'll be using, this. So we fix it here. We'll be heating the germanium. This is the germanium metal. We'll be heating the, the, the germanium to a temperature of 170, right? The temperature of 170. Then we can record the corresponding voltage against the temperature for a difference of 10. Now for the heating, we start heating at a room temperature. We will start heating at a room temperature. We will start heating them at the room temperature. So now we have to set the temperature to our room temperature. So we press the model. We press the model. And then, so currently, this is our room temperature. This is the room temperature in here right now. This is the room temperature. So we start heating. Now, when you start heating, this red light will be on. This sign is for the heating. So it will be on, right? It will be on. So what we do is, we can turn it on at the back. So on, right? When you press here, this will start heating. The germanium will start heating up, up to a temperature of 170 degrees. So let's press it and see. Right, so the light is on. Now the temperature has start increasing because we started heating the, temp uh, the germanium. Right? So it will heat up to a temperature of 
170. Then we can start recording our values as it drops by 10, 10 degrees. I mean by a difference of 10 degrees, right? So that's what we'll be doing today. So when it gets to 170, it will stop by itself. Then we can start recording our values on the table. So this is how the table is supposed to be. This is how the table is supposed to be. The first thing should be our temperature. We record our temperature values here with a difference of 10. So we can start from 170, 160, 150 in that order to where we started from. Then we can convert the temperature into Kelvin, right? Then we can take absolute temperature, right? The absolute of the temperature, one divided by the temperature. And then we can record the voltage as well on the multimeter, right? We record the voltage on the multimeter. Now we can indicate the voltage by using U, right? We can use U to be the voltage. And then the unit should be the vein, right? Then the next thing on the table should be our conductivity. Conductivity, right? And then our conductivity, this is how you find it. L times the current times the area times the voltage should give you the conductivity. Where the L is the length of the germanium specimen, right? And then the lean of the conductivity. Now, it has gotten to 170, so it's dropping, right? So you realize that while this decreases, there's a change in temp uh, voltage, right? So when it gets to 160, we record the corresponding voltage. When it gets to 150, 150, we can record the corresponding voltage. When it gets to 140, when it gets to 140, we can record the corresponding voltage. When it gets to 130, then corresponding voltage. 120, the corresponding voltage. So this is how we record the values for this experiment, the band gap of germanium, right? The band gap of germanium. Then we can use that one to plot a graph. So the graph will be the conductivity where the unit should be ohm meter, right? The conductivity. The unit should be one over ohm meter, right? Against the inverse of the absolute temperature. Now, this is the original equation for the whole experiment. We'll be plotting this, this against this, right? We are plotting this against this, meaning that if we are comparing it to an equation, a linear equation, right? This should be our y, this should be our lx, and then our gradient is supposed to be this, because we are plotting this against this. So this should be our intercept, where the line, the line, the graph looks something like this, right? So this should be our intercept, and then this against this, and then we are also plotting this against this, so this should be, the whole of this should be our slope. Now, after finding the slope, we have to equate the value of the slope to this. So for instance, if you get 10, example 10 to be your slope, you equate the slope value to this, then this is k, right? k is the Boltzmann's constant. So our b, our slope equals to the negative e, right, over 2k, where our k is Boltzmann's constant. So this is Boltzmann's constant, right? And then there's a constant as well. And then this is what we are finding, right? The band gap, the conductivity. And then also this is our slope, right? So the value of the slope will be here. So this is the only thing left that we'll be finding which can help us get the band gap of Germany. Thank you for joining my channel. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.